Dean, what are those medals about? So, as you can see, it says, run now, wine later. <laughs> so, that was a Christmas gift from a buddy. And in 2019, we, me and Robert, who was one of the guys that got me into brewing, uh, went to Disney World to do the, the Star Wars rival runs. So, there's a... Uh, Friday you do a 5K, Saturday you do a 10K, and Sunday you do a half marathon. Good morning, crafty travelers. Today is Tuesday, June the 7th, 2022. Look at those mountains. Aren't they gorgeous? The clouds went away, and we get to see the mountains on our way out. We're headed south and then east to Honeysuckle Meadery. A harvest host for the night come on along and thanks for watching every change has a reason baby let it come to you every soul every season lives outside of status quo is on my lap. Ernie's in the driver's seat this morning. Cameras are on and we're ready to go. Garmin's plugged in and here we go. wasn't bad and now we've unhooked the car and we're going to back it up and park it over in this grassy area Here we are at the Honeysuckle Meadery, right across the road from his house. And there's where we've parked our car. And here's where we parked the motorhome. And Ernie says we are pretty level. Yeah, a little high in the front, a little low in the front. Not enough to bother. Okay. Okay. 
enough for a good night enough for one night and we're surrounded by these beautiful woods and there's even a fire pit he said if we wanted to have a fire we probably won't do that Snickers likes being in the woods smelling the flowers sniffing around for critters Snickers come here The owner's dogs came over to visit Snickers, and he's making a fuss. But they're very nice dogs. Yeah, Zoe's good. That's Zoe, the black one. I don't remember what the uh, Norwegian elk hound's name is. So this is the pond at the Honeysuckle Meadery. And this is Dean. Hi, Dean. Hello. He's going to give us a little tasting. And how many koi babies do you have in there? About 125 right wow. now. Wow. They're about uh, two, two and a half inches long. And so why do you need 125? Uh, I just want to pick the nicest ones out ah. and add them to this pond. And then I want to build another pond in the back and put some more back there. Nice. And you don't have problems with critters getting to them? No. Well, that's good. The, the this is Dean. Where are we, Dean? Uh, we're in the tasting room at Honeysuckle Meadery in uh, Rainier, Washington. Very good. How long have you been here? Uh, I moved on the property, bought it in 2003, so I've been here for 19 years. And when did you start the winery? Uh, official business winery uh, five years ago. Okay. Uh, was brewing... Beer and mead with uh, friends doing, you know, home brew and all that kind of stuff for about 20 years now. And this is the Honeysuckle Meadery. Honeysuckle Meadery. And meadery is different than wine. Okay, so I you have to have a winery license. Okay. To do a, so it's called a winery, right, uh, legal wise. But meadery basically means I make wines with honey versus... Uh, Grapes. grapes, right. I'll, I'll use honey and I'll use some uh, local fruits. And where do you get your honey? Uh, I'd like to say I get it all from my bees. My, my bees don't make enough honey. So one of my batches, I'll need like 90 pounds of honey to do a, a 30 gallon batch. So I'll buy uh, some local honey. I'll go to Costco if they've got a deal on honey and buy a bunch of honey from them wherever I can get my hands on it. When I use my honey, it's usually in a smaller batch, maybe uh, three gallons. And then that's a, a ver very special, small batch version of the honey that's just local to right here. Nice. Okay, well, I gotta get a picture of these beautiful glasses. Tell me what you're gonna do. So first we're gonna have something that is not a mead. This has a, a uh, honeysuckle blossom. And the mead has a honeysuckle blossom with a bee on it. So oh. if you see one with a bee, you know it's got honey on it. Oh, okay. Okay. So That's for the market. blueberry, so for the blueberry mead, uh, there's a local blueberry farmer down off of 12. And I go down and I picked up 90 pounds of his blueberries, added 90 pounds of honey, and then fermented that out. So this is about two years old. So how long do you ferment? Uh, the fermentation process takes maybe three to six weeks. It's, sometimes honey will uh, ferment really slow, so you just have to keep kind of agitating it and make sure you, you feed it a little bit of nutrients. Strawberry from, wine. From the yard, and then honey from the yard. And I just had enough to make one gallon of it. Oh. So this is that's all there it. Is. That's right. it. Reserve. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So. so Dean, how many acres do you have here? I have ten acres. Okay. And it's mostly woods, I see. Yeah. Beautiful. It's woods with some uh, ATV trails that go through it. So. Uh, your winery meadery is, um, I'm sure. I hopefully you're making some money from it, but you said something about you have a different job may i ask you about I, that i'm a i'm an it guy 
Okay. So I work remotely uh, from home, managing servers across the state. And cool. Yeah. A team of four guys. and We used to all have to drive into the office, and then COVID hit. And now we're all remote, but we all, we're always on a, on a team chat, making sure everything's running good. And good. When issues pop up, we can all jump on. I think you know, I uh, together. borrowed your Wi-Fi. That's fine. <laughs> I that's was why, just. That's why it's out there. I was posting my my daughter and a few people with some pictures of your property. <laughs> Send her out on the front porch to kind of hit the, the yeah. front area. Great, yeah. and I had so, good service. Yeah. Let everybody know if they come here with their RV, they'll have good service. So, anything else you can tell me about your meadery? Uh, open by appointment. You know, I, I love to have people come in. I, I started the the. Harvest toast. Harvest toast and the hip camp and all that just to try to drive more people in here. Sure. I, I don't sell in any stores. It's all It's from all here. here from you. Right. Yes. So Well, I'll put the word out as best as I can and I really appreciate you allowing us to come in and yeah. video with you and see your winery and your property and um it's a little bit off the beaten path. Oh, it's off the beaten path. But <laughs> It was very interesting. I tell Ernie all the time, it's not necessarily the destination, it's the journey. Cheers, Dean. Cheers. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming. Dean, what are those medals about? So, as you can see, it says, run now, wine later. <laughs> so, that was a Christmas gift from a buddy. And in 2019, we, me and Robert, who was one of the guys that got me into brewing, uh, went to Disney World to do the the Star Wars rival runs. So there's a uh, Friday you do a 5K, Saturday you do a 10K, and Sunday you do a half marathon. Wow. So we did all those, and then you get uh, a 5K medal, 10K medal, a half marathon medal, and if you uh, paid for the challenge, which means you did all of them, you get a challenge medal, and then... Uh, and then other ones are just, uh, this one here, we just went uh, early April of this year because they finally opened up running back at Disney World again. So this was the spring surprise, and it sold out so fast that within three minutes of when it opened, the 5K had already sold out, and I wasn't able to get into that. So I was able to get into the 10K and the 10-miler. Uh, this year it was a 5K a 10K and a 10 miler. So the, the, the 10K was a Ratatouille concept or a theme, and then it was the Tower of Terror for the 10 miler. <laughs> so we go there, we do the runs, and then we visit the park for four or five days as, you know, family members and all that stuff. We Neat. try to get all the roller coasters and have fun. Absolutely. Wonderful. This is the end of the video of the Honeysuckle Meadery Harvest Toast in Rainier, Washington. I want to thank Dean for allowing us to stay on his property in this beautiful wooded area. And thanks so much for hosting us in the wine tasting of his Meadery wines made from honey and lemon aid and blueberry. They're all delicious. I bought the lemonade and the blueberry. And he is very reasonable. His home and winery are a little up the beaten path, but it's not hard to get here really if you're a little adventurous. We made it in our motorhome pulling our CRV Honda and in a beautiful area, right here in the woods, right across the road from his home and winery. It's beautiful here. The weather is perfect right now. It's June the 7th. And it has been a wonderful experience. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're in Rainier, Washington, look up Honeysuckle Meadery. And of course, I'll leave the information in the description below. It's worth it.
Thanks for watching. Stay crafty and take care.